Hey y'all, Madison Hopkins here, giving you your housing market update for Denver at the beginning of 2021. So we're pretty much not seeing anything different than 2020. Um, our interest rates are still really low. We're still in a very competitive market, which could also be called a seller's market. Our buyer pool is really strong and resilient. We're also having a lot of cash offers lately. So our buyers are competing against cash right now. It's super competitive. And if you're a seller, this is the most fantastic time for you to sell in Denver. Parentheses, if you're not gonna leave Denver. <laughs> Due to our extreme demand for housing, we have had to shift as real estate agents how we interact with our clients. Um, usually for a listing, we'll put the house on the market at the end of the week, show the house through the weekend and accept an offer at the beginning of the week. Um, that's sort of having to shift to putting the house on the market on a Monday because of how many people are coming to see the same property and the COVID cleanliness rule. So you're gonna need to sanitize that whole property. So stretching that listing out all the way from Monday to the end of the weekend or the beginning of next week is actually gonna help bring more quality buyers in there and give the listing, the sellers a lot of less panic because you're gonna have to clean the house. And then the second way that we're shifting that is talking to our buyers, having harder conversations with them up front, like, hey, I know you really like this house, but you, based on your finances, are not gonna be competitive for it right now. You're just not. You're competing against cash offers. You're gonna have to have $20,000 for appraisal gap or more. And so that's just not finances that people typically have saved up for. A lot of people have saved money for the down payment or using down payment assistance programs and that's fantastic, but what those don't cover are things like appraisal gap. So if you're putting in an offer at let's say 500,000, but it's gonna come in, um, but you're competing, so you're gonna have to put in an offer at 530,000 or maybe even 550,000, but there's gonna be an appraisal gap, like the house isn't actually gonna appraise for 550, it's gonna appraise for 500,000. So you're gonna have to make up for that in cash. So that's just one thing that's we're having to shift with our buyers is, is quality control as well for buyers and sellers, it's both quality control. On the selling side, you want quality buyers coming to your house. And on the buy side, you only wanna see houses that the buyers are actually gonna qualify for. So that's how our housing market has really shifted at the beginning of 2021. And thanks for tuning in. Let's talk about it more next month.